Hey everyone, welcome to Sean Allen Films Educational Series. I'm Sean Allen. This is part one of a three-part series on the integumentary system. Get ready because we are going to be learning about the skin. In order for us to view the different parts of the skin, we will be using this model. This will be very useful during the course of this video. skin is very unique. It protects us from the harmful sun rays and bacteria. It's waterproof, and it has its own air conditioning system. Hey, that's right. And get this, did you know that our skin has three layers? Well, it does. Oh, uh, hey, Professor, can I see that model for a second? Oh, uh, of course. Yeah, thank you. Here, I'll show you what I mean. You see here, we have the three layers of skin. The first layer is called the epidermis. The second layer is called the dermis. And the third layer is called the hypodermis. Let's take a look at an actual piece of skin under the microscope. As you can probably guess, the epidermis is the outer layer of skin that is most visible to the human eye. It is made up of a special type of tissue known as epithelial tissue. This tissue also makes up the lining of other organs like the stomach and the pancreas. The second layer of skin, the dermis, is a little different from the epidermis. It is much denser or thicker. In this layer, there are specific organs that help you in your everyday life. These red and blue lines are your veins and arteries. This is like the highway system for your blood. This is a hair follicle. We'll learn more about hair in the next episode. This thick red line is actually a muscle, which we will also learn later. This white object is your sweat gland. Remember when Professor Biochem said that your skin has its own air conditioning system? The sweat gland helps you cool off when you are very hot. You cool off by sweating. You might be asking yourself, what is the process of sweating? Well, let me show you. Let's say that it's a very hot day. Your body senses the sun rays warming your skin, so your nerves in your skin takes in information around your surrounding cells and sends it to the brain. The brain translates the information as heat and sends a signal back to the sweat gland to start producing sweat. Once there is enough sweat, the sweat glands eject some of a tube called the sweat ducts, where it is then released onto the skin through the sweat pore. And that is how you sweat. Believe it or not, even though we claim that the hypodermis is the third layer of skin, it isn't in reality. This layer connects the skin to the muscles and bones in your body. Even though it is not a part of the skin, some professors like to think of it as the third layer of skin. Don't argue with them. Just listen and be happy. At least try to be happy. There is one particular sensory organ that is in the hypodermis. It is this right here. It's called the Pacinian corbuscles. Yeah, I know. It's hard to pronounce. Let's just say that this organ is used in the sense of touch. It helps us determine if something is hard, soft, furry, sticky, rough, and smooth. It can also help us determine pressure. These black lines are nerves. They help you determine heat, cold, and pain. And just like that, we are finished with the skin. Let's go over a quick review. Your skin is divided into three layers. They are the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer of skin. This is where your hair and your sweat pores are exposed. The dermis is the second layer of skin. It contains your sweat glands, your sweat ducts, and blood vessels. Sweat is produced in the sweat glands, which sends it up in the sweat ducts and exposes the sweat on the sweat pores. 
the hypodermis is the third layer. It can a skin to muscles and bone. In the hypodermis, you have the Pacinian corpuscles, which determines texture and pressure. Well, everyone, we have finished part one of the integumentary system. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something. Before you go, be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out Sean's Google Plus page. The link is down below. Next week, we are going to be discussing about hair. Until then, keep on learning.